All right, here we go. Our objective for today, I can solve and graph multi-step one variable equations involving absolute value. So tell you never what concept we're on still. That is correct. Uh, so we're still on one variable equations. We don't need a fair model for that. And yesterday we started with absolute values. Remember that? Yes. So we know what one variable equations are. We don't need to write that out. We know the steps that we've been using, simplify, isolate, plot, and check. Remember that? Mm -hmm. And then for yesterday, for the absolute value, I gave you a process, three steps. Isolate the absolute value, write two equations without absolute value symbols, and then solve each equation. And also I asked you to plot them, right? Yeah. Okay. So then yesterday we covered definition of absolute value, and we said that definition of absolute value is that the distance between a number and zero. Is that correct? And then we did uh, the whole introduction of the definition, including the, the symbols that we use, which are the two bars. Then we introduced the distance from negative 23 to zero, and we said it was how many steps? 23 steps, and then we knew how to write it. And then I gave you an example cue that looked like this, and I say, what number is 23 steps away from zero? And then the answer was x equals negative 23, x equals 23, remember that? Yeah. Then we went to this one. Then we went to this one. Then we did some of these, oh, and I nice. and I gave you a different one of these. Uh, then we did uh, something similar to this, but let's copy this one. Example one b, three times the absolute value x plus seven equals twenty four. I'm going to zoom in. Let me get you started with this one. Here you go. All right. According to the steps that we wrote down yesterday, we said step one, isolate the absolute value by using the inverse operation. So look at it. Here's the absolute value. What's next to the absolute value? The three. What is it doing? Multiplying. So what is the inverse operation of multiplication? So we divide by three divide by three both sides. Therefore, we end up with absolute value x plus seven oh, yeah. equals eight. Is the absolute value by itself already? Yes. Yeah. So at this point we make two equations, one for negative eight and one for positive eight. And what's inside of the absolute value? X plus seven equals that and x plus seven equals that. Once again, one for the negative eight, one for the positive eight. Oops, sorry. And then we solve and you plot. Is that correct? Yes. So, minus 7 minus 7, x equals negative 15, minus 7 minus 7, x equals 1. And then let me plot my solution. And we got negative 15 and 1. Make sure you plot it. Now, one of the things that I wanted to get to from now on, I want you to write your answer in a solution set. You're like, what does that mean, Mr. Q? Let me show you. Writing utensils down. Look up to the screen. Once you finish and you know what the answer is, we know that the answer is negative 15 or 1. But our solution set, we write it like this. Solution set, negative 15, comma, one. There it is. That's our solution set. Copy that, please. I know. And I know some of you are going to have a hard time doing this. You're like, Mr. Q, how do I do it? So come on, start at the top, go down like a curve, and then bring it to the left. And then start from that same place, go to the right, and then bring it down. And go all the way to the right. And there it is. Yeah. I'm sorry? These are called uh, braces or brackets. But from now on, we're going to know it as solution set. Yeah, do the same thing. Same purpose. All right, we got it? All right, let's do this next one. Completely copy this one. Copy this one. We got 
negative 8 equals absolute value x plus 2, close the absolute value, minus 8. Okay, let's do this one together because this one is a special type of equation. Let's see if uh, if uh, we can identify what's special about it. Line down the equal sign. Uh, is the absolute value by itself? No. What's going on there? The subtracting of eight. What is the inverse? Add eight. Add eight. Remember, you're doing inverse operations. This cancels. This is zero equals absolute value x plus two. Okay, stop right there and write your utensils down. Look up to the screen. Now, compared to all the ones that we've been doing in the past, focus please. And the ones that I left for home play, look up. I didn't give you one that you ended up with this. Who notices that? This is different. Why? Because we end up with what? So at this point, what would we do if we had a different number here? We would make two equations, right? One positive and one negative. However, is there such a thing as a negative zero and a positive zero? So then what do I do here? I just write one equation, which is what? Zero, zero equals x plus two. There's no longer a negative or a positive. Now I just yeah. zero. Can I solve that? So this is minus two minus two. Negative 2 equals x. Here's my plotting. Negative 2. And my solution set is negative 2. That's it? Yes. So once again, what can we conclude so far? Um, for the past day, we've been doing absolute values, and we end up with, look up, please, an absolute value, whatever's inside, equal to a positive number. Haven't we been, been getting those? How many solutions do we get when we end up with something like that? Two solutions. Write that down, please. Two solutions. And right now, we just discovered a different one, which is this one. We ended up with an absolute value equal to what? No, equal to what? Zero. So let's see. When an absolute value equals to a positive number, we get two solutions. When an absolute value equals to zero, how many solutions? One. One solution. That is correct. What about three solutions? Are we there so far? Okay. So, let's see. Um, copy this one. Example 2B. And we're going to do this one together because it's also a special type of equation. Example 2B, let's get started, line down the equal sign. All right, is the absolute value by itself? No. No, what's going on? Three. They're adding three, so what is the inverse? Subtract three, subtract three. Subtract three. This cancels, we're left with absolute value x plus four equal to negative three. Stop right there. And let's look at this one. Isn't this a different type of absolute value? So let's see. Let me go back to what we just covered. Look up, please. We started with absolute value is equals to a positive number, and that gave us how many solutions? Two. And then we have absolute value equal to zero, which is one solution. Okay? Now, let's recap of what we know in regards to absolute values. What did your teachers in the past tell you? That anything that came out of an absolute value was a what? Positive. Positive. And what did we cover yesterday with the definition? The definition said that it's the distance, right? And we talk about distances only in what? Positive. Positive. So are we there? Yes. Well, right now, we have this situation. Look up. Don't say it out loud, please. Look at this one. Absolute value equal to a what? Negative. Okay, so let's look at that situation. Absolute value equal to a negative. What do we know that absolute value is? A distance away from zero. 
is this true? Don't say that out loud. Is this true that the absolute value is equal to negative? Talk about with your neighbors, please. Is, are absolute values equal to negatives? Let's see, Clarissa, what your neighbor say? No solution. Why no solution? Because it's not a positive. Okay, because absolute values are are always what positive. And what is this one? Also, because a good explanation would be that absolute values are distances. Do we count distances in negatives? No, we always count them as in positive. Therefore, when you end up with this, what can we say for this one? No solution. Oh, I like it. Everybody got it? Okay. On this one, you don't have to know. Because if, uh, look up, everyone. Somebody said, somebody said, can we write a solution set zero? No, because that, that is telling us that there is a solution, which is what? Zero. But this one says that no solution. So we don't write anything. Just write no solution. You don't have to plot or check. I know. Copy this one, please. Example 2C. One play? Maybe. I'm going to get you guys started with this one. Here we go. Bam. Be nice. Wow. All right. Emerald's going to help us out with this one. Okay, Emerald. We have the absolute value on the left side. What's next to the absolute value? A positive 2. Okay, that is correct. There it is. What else is next to it? Tiger. A negative 1. Does everybody see the negative 1? No, because it's invisible. Let me write it. There it is. And what is the negative one doing? It's multiplying. So my two operations are multiplication and addition. Where do I start? Where do I start? With addition. And what is the inverse of addition? Subtract two, subtract two. We're left with negative one times the absolute value of two x minus five equals to five. I'll let you finish that one. So don't say it out loud. Keep the answer to yourself, please. Let people think. No, don't cry. No crying in algebra. Oh. All right, talk it over with your neighbors, see what they got. Everyone, no solution. Because at this point, we do divided by negative 1, divide by negative 1. We're left with absolute value 2x minus 5. And if we're left with a negative number, there is no solution. We got this? Yes? Okay, let's do another one. Copy this one. Do that one by yourself. See how you do. I'll give you guys 40 seconds. Go. Keep the answer to yourself. Copy that. All right, check with the neighbor, see what they got. All right, walk us through this one, please. Uh, Macy, tell me what to do. Oh, wait, let me 
let me start you off. There you go. Add six to both sides. And we end up with what? Equals zero. Okay. And then? Okay, close. At this point, we needed to write two equations, right? But can we write two equations? No, because this is zero. So we will write one equation, x minus 4 equals zero. Uh, yeah, the one, when it's positive, it's already in here. I didn't know that. When it's negative, we do need to do negative uh, for division. Yeah, so be careful with those. So, at this point, we do plus 4 plus 4. Answer, x equals 4. Solution set, 4. And our solution, nice and straight line like so. There it is. Hands if you got that by yourself. Okay, good. I got that. Yes, Tiger? You got it? Okay, and the last one. Copy this one. I totally thought that. Super Q, like, like, super Q. Here we go. Example super Q. Uh, absolute value, 2x plus 1. Close the absolute value. Uh, minus, no, plus 30 equals 7. Don't say it out loud. Keep it to yourself. See what you get. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. I I need you writing, please. Okay. <laughs> Okay, once again, I don't want it in your noodle. I want it on paper, please. Yes. Now it is on my paper. All right, tell you near what you got, please. Andres, what'd you get? No solution. Hands if you got that. That is correct, because we subtract 30 from each side. Subtract 30. We end up with absolute value 2x plus 1 equals to negative 23. So it's a negative, therefore, no solution. Uh, summary, let's see. Look up. Absolute value. Here he goes. Uh, what did we learn? That whenever the absolute value equals a positive number, how many solutions? Two. Whenever the absolute value equals to zero, we have one solution and whenever the actual value equals a negative there is no solution everybody got it okay i'm going to go over number eight from last night's home play uh just as a request from someone so from the home play number eight let's see um M, can you read that for me please Oh, I can read it right now again. It says, no, I can't even read it. I have no idea. Oh, my God. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Absolute value. Absolute value. Three. Three. And then it has a parenthesis. Parenthesis. Four X. Four X. Plus one. Plus one. Close parenthesis. Absolute value. Yes, exactly. And then it says equals to 20. Equals to 20. 20. 23, 23, yeah, 23 or 20? 20. 23. 23, okay. All right, here we go. Line down the equal sign. Is the absolute value isolated already? Yes, because there's nothing outside of the absolute value. So at this point, I write two equations. One for negative 23, one for positive 23. What's inside the absolute value? 3 times 4x plus 1 equals to negative 23, and 3 times 4x plus 1 equals to 23. All right, let's solve this. Distribute, this is 12x plus 3 
equals negative 23. So this is minus 3 minus 3. This is 12x equals negative 26. Divide by 12, divide by 12. x equals negative 2 and 2 twelfths. Or? Which becomes what? 1 6. Or when you write in the decimal, how is it? In decimal, it's point one. Six I left, I repeating. <laughs> Point, oh, yeah. I Let's look at this one. This is 12x plus 3 equals 23 minus 3 minus 3. 12x equals 20. Divide by 12. Divide by 12. It fits in there 1. So x equals 1 and 8 twelfths, which is 2 thirds. Or yes. Decimal, decimal 1.6 repeating. Therefore, my solution is negative 2 and 1 6, comma, 1 and 2 thirds. I and then you know how to plot right that, right? Page. And I'll stop right there. Your home play is over here. Uh, it's a play sheet. Uh, play sheet 2.7. <laughs> Just do numbers 1 through uh, 14. <laughs> One through fourteen <laughs> only. Make sure you get the uh, your parte signed and corrected. Corrections are in a separate sheet of paper. Tell you never what I just said. <laughs> and I'm picking up tomorrow uh, the signing Saturday Academy and your progress report. Okay. Uh, yeah. There is tutoring today. If I don't see you, see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.